Hello, thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is Tracy Held. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, in Australia. This is the card that we're making today. I'm part of a video hop where our theme is baby cards. So in the description, you'll see the link to the next person who's after me. Hop all the way around and see what everybody's made. The products that I'm using for this card, the Easter Bunny stamp set. So not the stamp set that you would automatically think of when you're making a baby card. But in my mind, this little bunny works perfectly for this card. I'm using the Charming Sentiment stamp set for the sentiment. Countryside Corners dies to cut out our frame and the backing over there. And I'm using this from the Basics 3D embossing folders, which is part of the online exclusive offering. We're also going to need DSP. Now I'm changing it up. This one's a blue one, obviously for a baby boy. So for this video, I'm going to make the pink one and I'm gonna be using this piece of DSP from the Delightfully Eclectic DSP pack. This is in the annual catalog and it's one of those very big DSP packs. You've got four of each sheet. We're going to need our light and dark bubble bath blends. I also need my color lifter. This is becoming one of my best friends. And we've got bubble bath and memento ink. That's all the products that we need. Let's get started. First up, I'm going to stamp my little bunny. Now you're going to need two bunnies one for the top and then one you're using on the bottom of your insert. I'm only going to do one so that I can show you the colouring. You don't need to watch me colour two. I have already done one that's coloured so I think you only need to watch me once. So we're going to stamp our little bunny. Obviously this is my insert. You're going to do another one just on a scrap piece of paper. I'm stamping it in the memento this time around because I did try and stamp it in pink but flirty flamingo just isn't the right colour to go with bubble bath. This one I did stamp with night of navy and then used boho blue to colour it in. Starting with my dark bubble bath and I'm using the bullet tip here. I'm going to just colour in his ears going around the outside. And I'm going around the outside because I want him dark around the edges and then lighter coming in. On his face, saying his face, which should be her face if she's pink, I'm just going to add an extra line going around the eyes. Now I'm going to take my light bubble bath and again I'm going to just work with the bullet end and just go with little circles all the way around. Now I want to go over where I've got those dark lines. So we're really concentrating on doing my little circles over that because that's what's going to help to blend those lines so that it's not such an obvious line there. I'm going to use the brush end for the inside here just because it's quicker and it's a bigger area. If it looks like it's still a little bit too defined, just go back and go over with some more little circles 
remember that this does dry lighter so I give it time to dry as well I don't want to put too much color on the inside of the ears because I do want that lighter now I'm going to take my color lifter and color over the ears that'll make that much lighter and again just wait a few minutes because it does lighten but it does sometimes take a little bit of time and then we're just going little circles roughly and that'll make its tummy and the front of it look furry okay. give that time to dry you can see on this one the effect that it has with the color lifter and we want the pads on on her feet a little bit paler and we'll just lift some of the color on the paws as well now you're going to do that for your insert and you're going to do another one which you're going to use for the front of the card and the one for the front of the card needs to be fussy cut so we've got our two little bunnies over there now i'm going to use bubble bath for my card base to cut my frame what i did is i took the largest of that countryside corners dies and the third largest die and put them if we're cutting it out of my base piece here i put them onto my basic white cardstock like that and ran it through my cut and emboss machine and i got the frame and then once it was cut out i took the frame and ran it through the embossing folder you can do the embossing before but i just think that if you then go and cut it that embossing is going to squash as you push it through the machine so i prefer to cut and then emboss and i then took the second largest die and used that to cut the piece that's going to sit in the center over there Let's stick our little insert inside the card. I could just stick that straight on, but I just think that it looks a little bit plain. So we want some tone on tone stamping. And because this is a card for a baby girl, we're going to use the flowers from that stamp set. I'm just going to stamp little sprig of flowers at the bottom. And we'll do another one in this top corner. Now, because I've cut this out of the bigger die, you'll see it's going to fit behind here quite comfortably and I've got room to stick it. I want this to stand up a little bit, so this is going onto dimensionals. I don't want the dimensionals poking out, so I'm going to use my mini dimensionals. frames going over the top so you don't need to worry too much about whether it's lined up or not as long as the frame is over that back piece and just not happy with this one because I can see 
that I'm Angenor poking through, so I want to shift it back a little bit. And it may be slightly over the edge if I go, but that's okay. Oh, except that it's sticking to my nail. There we go, that's sitting better. Now I'm going to stick this onto the front of my card. And again, I'm sticking it with dimensionals. So we're going to go with my mini dimensionals again and put them around the frame. Make sure that it's the right way up. You don't want upside down flowers. If you're using something that's non-directional, then it doesn't matter. But this time around, we, we don't want our flowers standing on their heads. I'm having a problem stamping straight on camera at the moment. So I snapped my sentiment in advance so that I wouldn't have to battle with getting things straight. This time I have stamped it in the black. I tried stamping it in the bubble bath ink, but it was just coming up too pale. So I decided not. we're going with black for the sentiment here. And we're going to stick that onto the bubble bath strip. The strip is going to sit on the frame, so when I'm sticking it down, I'm just putting some glue on the two sides. If you're really concerned, you could stick a dimensional in the middle, but for me, it's holding fine with just having glue on the two ends. And lastly, our little bunny needs to go on, so I'm popping her up on dimensionals as well. And there we have it, our two cards, depending on whether you've got a new baby boy or a new baby girl. If you don't know what the baby is, you could just go and do your bunny in green or in yellow and then just adjust your base and your designer series paper to match. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hop on and see what the next person has done for us. Until next time, bye.